to another episode of FTD Facts. This is a new generation of class, school made fun. And in this episode, we're doing another video by request, and we're talking about Mr. Akshay Kumar. He was requested by Dinesh Pokalwar, Shivan Kumar, and Ayush Dotia. Now, to kick off this video, Akshay Kumar, he is the most successful actor in Bollywood that doesn't have the last name Khan. He doesn't have the last name Kapoor, and he doesn't have the last name Bachchan. So let's just start off with some basic facts. We all know him by the name Akshay Kumar. However, I'm gonna blow your mind a little bit, that's not his actual name. He was born Rajiv Hari Ombatia, and he was born in India on September 9th, 1967, making him now 49 years old. But that's a very long name, so I'm just gonna stick to Akshay Kumar for this video. Everybody knows him by that name anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now Akshay, he started doing martial arts when he was in the eighth standard. Now after getting a black belt in Taekwondo in India, he went to Bangkok to study martial arts. And in Bangkok, he worked as a waiter for many years before returning to India to teach martial arts. So yeah, he put in a lot of years of hard work in other things before he made it big in Bollywood. Now of course, becoming so popular as he did is not really that easy. But because he pushed through everything, he's now worth $150 million US. And he's ranked ninth in Forbes' first global list of the highest paid actors in the world. Now there's one word to describe how this guy got into acting, and that is destiny. It was like honestly just meant to happen. So hear this. He got his first break in the movie industry because he missed a flight. And that's probably the only time that something good can come out of missing a flight. It turns out that he was scheduled to fly out for an ad shoot, but he missed his plane and he was kind of beating himself up a little bit. So he just decided to visit a film studio with his portfolio. And that same day he was signed for the leading role of the movie Theodar in 1992. And then the rest is history. But guys, let me know down below in the comment section, what are you very passionate about? We all love something and have big goals, so let me know down there. Now, although he made his movie debut back in 1992, that wasn't actually the first time he appeared in a movie. He had a cameo appearance as a martial arts instructor in the film Aj, and his screen name was Akshay in the movie, and he loved it so much that he decided to change his name from Rajiv Bhatia, and he adopted Akshay Kumar as his screen name. All right, so if you guys have been keeping up with his career, you'll know that he's very famous for doing some pretty dangerous stunts in his movies. And in fact, one was so deadly that he actually broke his neck. He was trying to lift up the WWE wrestler Undertaker, and that, and yeah, that was like 350 pounds. And of course, the Undertaker, weighing 350 pounds, that wasn't an easy thing. He was filming the movie Kilari Yonka Kilari, and after that he had to get very extensive treatment for his injuries in the US. Good thing he recovered though, because that literally could have ended his career. No, seriously. Now when you're passionate about what you do as much as Akshay Kumar is, there's no surprise that you can become a workaholic, right? To date he starred in over 100 films and he sometimes works on six or seven movies a year. So you're probably wondering, how does he spend time with family and loved ones? Well, he actually works six days out of the week. He takes Sundays off to spend time with family and you just relax and recover. Now, when you see Akshay Kumar with his shirt off, you're probably wondering like, yo, this guy pumps some serious iron. But in fact, his whole muscular physique has nothing really to do with lifting weight. His gym is one of the most unique gyms because it doesn't have any equipment there. So he does tons of running, martial arts, and boxing to stay fit. Now, kind of similar to the previous fact, Akshay Kumar is actually one of the most disciplined actors in Bollywood. He has a strict fitness schedule and he's a super early riser. Every day he gets up 5 a.m. to start his day and goes to bed right at 10 p.m. I believe in training specifics to make me capable of achieving what is required to me. No late night partying? What's up with that? I'm sure he fits those in from time to time. 
just saying like his schedule in general. Now let's talk about some of his on-screen names. So he's played a character with the name VJ eight times and Raj seven times. And five out of those seven times, his name was Raj Malhotra. And interestingly enough, that happens to be Shah Rukh Khan's most famous on-screen name. All thanks to the movie DDLJ. Please leave me alone. Okay, I don't mind. I mean, it's alright with me. <laughs> now, not only is Akshay Kumar popularly called Kaladi Kumar, Kaladi means player, this is because he worked in eight films with Kaladi in the title. Now let's end off with some of his great achievements. Back in 2008, the University of Windsor gave him an honorary doctorate to recognize his contribution in Indian cinema. And back in 2009, he was awarded the Padma Shri by the government of India, which is the fourth highest civilian award in India. India. In 2011, the Asian Awards honored Kumar for his outstanding achievement in cinema. Winner of the Outstanding Achievement in Cinema Award is Akshay Kumar. And in 2012, he founded the production company called Grazing Goat Pictures. Most recently in 2014, Akshay Kumar, he launched a TV reality show, Dare to Dance. He also owns the team, the Khalsa Warriors, in the World Kabaddi League. And I can go on and on and on, but that's just to name a few. Maybe we'll save some more achievements for part two, because I know you guys want a, a part two. But uh, let me know down there how much you want a part two of Akshay Kumar. And also let me know what other movie stars and actors or celebrities, or any facts for that matter, that you want us to do a video on. And that concludes it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have been awesome. Be sure to hit me up on the social media. All those links are down down below and if this is your first time here hit subscribe because this is the FTD facts a new generation of class we like to keep the conversations going in the comments section and hopefully we can learn something new from each other until the next time guys I'm Leroy Kenton boom